Yo, 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 what's going on, 1020? I hope you're all super well. Welcome to episode 27 of Hashtag Ask Tweety. Yeah, I was trying to like do a hashtag, didn't work out too well. The football show where you guys send in your football related questions. I say football a lot, aren't I? And I answer them to the best of my ability, giving you guys as much value as possible. So, this one is completely different to the journey. Obviously, the journey is showing my everyday life, what I do uh, to make sure that I'm improving in football. This one is just answering your questions. So if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below because that is where I'm going to be uh, putting them into this Word document where I have all your questions. I take three every episode. If your question doesn't get answered, don't worry, it's already there so you no longer have to repeat your question in every video. If you have a new, an if you have a new question, send it in on the uh, comment section and then I can add it to the list. So, starting off, this one comes from a while ago. It comes in from Clinton. Pam or Pham, how do you not get nervous uh, against better teams such as Pro Academy? So this question is coming a lot. How do you reduce your nerves before a match, before a training session? Um, there's so many different ways to put it. There's another one here. How do you cope with nerves going into all these tryouts and performing your best without messing up? I've been to too many tryouts and how I messed up because of my nerves. That one was from Luca Football. So they're all along the same sort of line where people are going into football tryouts, football games, football training sessions, and they feel nervous. And this is completely understandable. If I were to go to Manchester City and have a trial with them, I'd be nervous. Uh, I think one of the biggest things is to try to remind yourself why you're there, especially if you're already there. Let's say you're have, you have a bad performance, you have to remind yourself that you are part of this team. Let's, if you're part of the Manchester City Under-14s Academy, uh, and let's say having a couple of bad games, a couple of bad training sessions, and now you're going into the training sessions and games nervous, just remind yourself that you're there for a reason. Whichever team that you're in, you're there for a reason. If you're going into a trial that's higher up, you're there for a reason. There were times where I was called into... I'm trying to think where I was more nervous. I think Sydney FC, I was pretty nervous when I was 17... Yeah, 17. And I went into the Sydney FC uh, National Youth League trials. And man, I was nervous for that. That was very tough because I'd never been amongst uh, those sort of players. So it was a very different, uh, it was a different environment for me. So playing against those players was unbelievable. And I was definitely nervous. But once I started to realize that this is just a trial, I'm here to play football, they're here to, here to assess me then you just kind of absorb yourself in the game. And of course, nerves are always going to be in the back of your head. Regardless, I'm sure if you asked, it's, I, I don't know if I want to say Messi or Ronaldo, but you are someone like Mbappe, who's only like 18 years old. Do you think he gets nervous playing against Real Madrid? Of course, he's playing against his idol, Ronaldo. At, I think he's 18, or is he? Yeah, I think he's 18. But of course he's going to get nervous, and you have to feed off those nerves, and. It goes back to yes, uh, not yesterday's, Tuesday's episode talking about how do you prepare going into a game, making sure that you have your routine, any superstitions that you may have, how the mindset that you have going into the training session or the game, uh, just making sure that you can prepare as best as possible. And also you need to believe in your ability. So when you go into that, you need to make sure that you've had a solid week of training or you've done everything you can for the last 15 or 10 years, whatever it is, however long you've been training for, to go into those trials. One of the things I like to do is just remind myself that, I, like, without sounding arrogant, like, you look at Ronaldo, right? He thinks, it, well, he thinks, and he is the best player in the world at the moment, and that's working for him. I like to, sometimes I'll sit down and watch my highlights video and remind myself of these things that I'm capable of doing and then I'll go into and that will just increase my confidence so if you guys have seen my highlights videos you'll know that they're pretty good and so when I go when I go back and watch them I'm like man that was a good shot and it always it almost just builds me up and now I'm like okay I'm ready I'm sweet like I know I'm I know I'm a good player and with that, that like so many of you guys might see that and go oh he's just being arrogant the other half that actually understand it, like you have the Floyd Mayweathers of this world who they say I'm the best fighter, it's all that self-talk stuff, building yourself up, nobody's gonna beat me. Like if you can get yourself in that zone, 
then man, you're just unstoppable. So that's what I suggest. It, it depends on what works for you. Some people to calm nerves, maybe you have to have a coffee before a game. It, it kind of ties into Tuesday's question, excuse me, which was, how do you reduce the chances of having a bad game on match day? Just uh, find a way to prepare. Yeah, it's, it's very similar, but nerves are something, everybody gets them, I'm sure, and you just have to deal with it find what works for you and yeah ties into Tuesday's question so if you didn't see the answer to that make sure you check it out second question oh uh, I've answered this one before in a vlog but some of you guys might not have seen it if you have one if you have just one possible kind of training in order to improve what training would you like to do juggling footwork etc etc that one came in from Christian Villanucci now I spoke about this in a vlog a while ago but let's just say you have an hour right and you can only train one thing obviously in that hour if you realistically only had an hour you want to fit at least a couple of things in but let's say you could only practice one thing the th one thing I would practice is first touch first touch is <coughs> excuse me the most important part or most important skill or ability to have in football it's not fast feed it's not the ability to run through ladders it's not the ability to jump high it's first touch you look at someone like isco or iniesta xavi messi these the first touch is what sets them up for everything if they have a poor per, poor first touch they're going to have a poor pass they're going to have a poor dribble they're going to have a poor shot uh anything that like think about the game of football unless even like even if you're doing a first time pass everything that you do in football requires a good first touch unless like we're talking about positioning but we're talking on the ball you need a good first touch and so many times let's say i have a shot and my first touch goes behind me just in a training session and then i shoot it my shot is going to be poor and i won't blame it on the shot and my ability to shoot the ball I'll blame it on the fact that I had a poor first touch and that first touch needed to be diagonally in front of me so that I can have the best shot or best uh, best chance to have a good shot. So man, football tennis, juggling against the wall, juggling, juggling in the air, like 15 meters in the air, controlling again, playing, playing, playing. Uh, like five juggles, then there's the crossbar one where you juggle three times on this side over the crossbar, three times, juggle, three times, juggle. Ability to use both feet while you're doing that as well. It's not just first touch on your right foot or just your left foot You need to be able to have your first touch on both feet. So That's what I would say first touch. I'm so passionate on it. So many players are Focusing on how can I get faster? How can I be more agile? How can I run through ladders faster man? Like just take a step away from that stuff and think what like what is the core of football the core is first touch you need a good first touch otherwise like you're screwed so forget about the ladders for now unless you have a first touch like Iniesta forget about the ladders you can still do it I'm, we're talking again if you have an hour in a week first touch most important thing I can't hammer it home enough moving on I, I get very passionate about that one because ever since I was 16 yeah when i met my mentor that was like all we did first touch everything was about first touch so uh, let me go into this a bit more detail so we had an hour and a half one-on-one -on -one session and for about 45 to maybe even an hour of the session was football tennis because that's how important it was and i saw my first touch just improve massively third and final question i'm hitting you guys with is how do you keep how do you keep from being too sore in a tournament for the second or third games for a two-day tournament? That comes in from Ryan B. So this one was from Tuesday's episode. I just wanted to pick one just to make sure you guys are uh, sending in your questions. Tournaments are tough. Um, it's very tolling on the body, especially like you, if we're not talking about UEFA Champions League where they actually break it up into big spaces. If we're talking... A two-day tournament on a weekend you play two games each day if you make the finals you're playing four games on the Sunday like those are killer so one of the things like literally just play do not do any training do not go and do technical training try and limit any physical activity like do not try and do some first touch don't try and play football tennis 
Don't do anything strenuous outside of those matches because you need to be performing in those games. You need all of the energy possible and not only you, your team needs all the energy possible from you to put into that match because um, I can guarantee you not everyone is going to be 100%. So there's that, then there's ice bath. So after the game, what I would say is going, I used to do this a lot. Uh, I forget how long it was. I think it was a minute. So I think I did three sets and I went into an ice bath like cold water with ice blocks in it. I went in there for a minute and I moved my legs around a little bit because I thought if you just stay still, you're kind of just keeping yourself warm. But if you move your legs, it makes it really cold. And I thought that might make it better. I don't know. Uh, and <laughs> why, why? Anyway, so I'd stay in there for a minute, jump out, go into a hot shower for a minute and I would literally just put it on my legs. So I would only go, let me stand up. I'd only go to about here, I think. Uh, obviously, you can go here, but I'd go to there. And then, so when I'm in the shower, I'm literally just sticking out my legs, getting my hammies, then I'd face forward for a little bit, get my thighs. Obviously, it would be much better if you had two bars, one hot, one cold, but that's not accessible to everyone. So I'd do that minute, three sets, maybe even five sets if you wanted, and do that after every game resting water food like making sure that after your match you're eating the right foods before the match eating the right foods bananas um carbs like i don't know enough about that stuff to give you guys actual information but i just know bananas before the match good uh carbs like three hours before the games just make sure you're eating right drinking lots of water stay hydrated because those tournaments can be tough but Anyway, Team Tweety, that is going to conclude this episode of Hashtag Ask Tweety. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new around here, join the Hashtag Ask Tweety family, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. Listen.